Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to my organic chemistry mini lecture again. Uh, today our topic will be Claisen condensation. And this is actually a type of the example of the reaction of uh, enolate. And uh, we know the enolate will can be generated by deprotonation of the alpha proton of the carbonyl compound. And this Claisen condensation of ester will give you the beta keto ester as the general structure. And uh, today we're going to use the base as the catalyst. And the second step, uh, we always need the work up with acidic water. The base here, we choose ethoxide because this is ethyl ester. If we have a methyl ester, we should use the methoxide or we can use the other LDA uh, as a base. Now, in this example, we can look at the mechanism here. The first step is the alpha proton of this ester will be depronated by the base, the ethoxide. The ethoxide oxygen will take the proton and then push the sigma electron back to here to form a pi bond and break the pi bond and push the electron to oxygen. This first step, deprotonation, give you the enolate as intermediate. And enolate is a good nucleophile. This will react with another molecule of the starting material, the ester. And uh, the electron from oxygen, the oxide, push back, form the pi bond, and then push this pi electron to attack this carbon of this carbonyl and then push the pi electron to the oxygen. That nucleophilic addition give you this intermediate. It's a negative charged on this oxygen and this oxide will push back form the pi bond again and kick off this ethoxide as the leaving group. And that actually regenerate the catalyst, the base. So last step is elimination and form this beta keto ester. Three steps. This is a very general mechanism for the Claisen condensation. First step, always deprotonation. Of course, we always use the base as catalyst. And then second, nucleophilic addition. Third step, elimination. This first uh, example, we actually use the, uh, it's more like a self condensation of the ester. If we use different ester, that is called cross Claisen condensation. Uh, I use the example here. This is a methyl ester. This is a methyl propanoate. And this is another ester. This is the methyl acetate. And to reduce the site reaction, we can use LDA to generate the enolate first. Then slowly add the other ester. And we have to do it slowly because we want to minimize the self condensation of this ester. And then third step, we need use the acid to work up. And now first step, the alpha proton of this ester will be depronated by the base. LDA is the lithium diisopropyl amide. And the real base is this diisopropyl amide. And this is a strong base, depronate the proton, and push the sigma electron to form the pi bond here, push the pi bond to the oxygen here. And then this is the enolate. This enolate will react with the other ester, which it will be added slowly. And then same reactivity, the electron of the oxygen push back, kick this pi electron to attack this carbon, push the pi electron to the oxygen. That gives you the oxide, this intermediate. This will push back to kick off this methoxide as the leaving group. So 
this elimination will produce the neutral product. I forgot to mention in the first slide, the last step is necessary because whenever you get this beta keto ester, if you still have alpha proton, in the last example and this, this example, they all have still have one alpha proton here. So when you still have the base, the alpha proton will be depronated to form enolate as the final product before you neutralize it. So when you have the enolate, um, you need the last step, the acidic water to neutralize or protonate the enolate here. So then you will get the neutral product. That's why the third step is necessary. Okay, now let's talk about the cross condensation between ketone and ester. So technically you cannot call this Claisen condensation, but it's very, very similar reactions. So I will use example. This is the ketone. This is the methylphenol ketone and react with the LDA again, LDA is a good base to generate the enolate first. And then second step, we will slowly add this ethyl ester. Uh, same reason, we want to reduce the uh, side reaction. And then third step, again, we need to quench the enolate generate uh, using the acid. The product is the uh, diketone, you can see, 1,3-diketone. Okay, the mechanism is really similar. So always be deprotonation, addition, and elimination. First step, this alpha proton here will be de deprotonated by the base, the LDA. The real species is a diisopropyl amide. Deprotonation happen and push the sigma electron back, push the pi electron to form this enolate. And the enolate will react with the ethyl ester that added in the second step. And then the electron, long pair of the oxygen, push back. And then break that pi bond and the electron will attack this carbon. Push the pi electron here to the oxygen. And to form this uh, very similar intermediate with the other examples. That's a nucleophilic addition intermediate. And then this oxide will push the electron back, kick off this ethoxide as the leaving group. Okay, so that's the last step, elimination. And we can find the final product. This is a 1,3-diketone. And again, you need to use the last step, quench the generate enolate. Because when you still have the base, this always generates enolate here. We actually have a two alpha proton here, so this will generate eno enolate, and that need be quenched by the acid. Last, we will talk about uh, a intramolecular version of the Claisen condensation. It's called a Dickman condensation. So you can see this is a diester. You have two ester function group in one molecule, and the reaction happened in the same molecule. So it's called an intramolecular reaction. Uh, we use this the base uh, methoxide because we have methyl ester here. And also second step, as usual, need a quench with the acidic water. Okay, the product of the Dickman condensation will be a ring system. Okay, it's a beta keto ester also, but with the ring formed. First step, deprotonation, always. So we need to redraw this structure, make it a uh, easier for next step for the arrow portion. And the alpha proton will be depronated by the base, the methoxide. The oxygen take the proton and push the electron back and push that pi electron to the oxygen. And the deprotonation again form the enolate here. This is the enolate and that is the ester. That is the electrophile. This is the nucleophile. The Nucleophile will attack electrophile. First electron from the oxygen, push back, and push this pi electron to this carbon, and then push the pi electron to the oxygen. It's an intramolecular nucleophilic addition. And then you'll form the ring system. So, and uh, this carbon is this carbon. 
and this carbon is this carbon. You will make oxide as the intermediate, a very similar intermediate with the other examples. Next step is elimination. This oxide pushes the electron back, kick off this methoxide as the leaving group, regenerate the catalyst. So next step, that's elimination. Push and push here, and you get the neutral product. Yeah, again, this will actually generate enolate, so you need to use acid to protonate the enolate to form this uh, final neutral uh, product that is a beta keto ester again, but with a ring formed, a six member ring formed here. Okay, so to summarize this Claisen condensation, so you may notice they follow really, really similar mechanism three steps deprotonation, addition, elimination. And that shows another example of reactions of enolate. Okay, so well, if you have any question, please let me know and uh, good luck.